Hello hockey fans and welcome back to another video. It's been 12 days since the 21-22 NHL season began and already we have seen a number of rookies who have hit the ground running during the opening weeks of the year. Whether it's Florida's Anton Lundell notching four points in his first four NHL games, Detroit's Lucas Raymond and Moritz Seider both producing strong scoring numbers early in the year, or one of the many rookies currently on the Anaheim Ducks roster, there are plenty of youngsters that have already made quite the impact for their respective teams. Though the league has become more of a young man's game thanks to the increased emphasis on speed and skill over size and toughness, there are a number of players that have earned their debut in the show following many years of seasoning elsewhere in the hockey world. In fact, several of these first-time NHLers have finally made it to the best league in the world after plying their trade in Europe for most, if not their entire pro careers up until this point. Given that there are a handful of these players that have made their NHL debut over the last fortnight, and given that I previously made a video on the European veterans who debuted in the league last year, I figured that it was worth taking a closer look at this year's group of newcomers in order to highlight how their many years of hard work, perseverance and strong play overseas has been well worth it for them in the long run. So in today's video, allow me to take you through my list of five European veterans debuting in the National Hockey League this season. Kicking things off at number five, we have Karel Vamelka. The only goaltender to be featured on this list, Karel Vamelka might be the most obscure entry in this video, but that hasn't stopped him from getting his NHL career off to a pretty good start. A fifth round pick by the Nashville Predators in the 2015 draft, Vemelka would never earn a spot on an NHL roster or make the move across the pond in the several years after his selection. Instead, the goaltender would spend the next six seasons of his career exclusively in the Czech Republic, where he bounced between the Extraliga and the Czech League 2 for much of this tenure, before finally earning a full time spot with HC Kometa Brno for the 2019 20 season. In fact, Vemelka would spend much of this tenure back home as a member of Berno's organisation, as he would suit up in at least five games for the team every single year, and registered a 73-81-0 record in 156 games with them during that span. After producing a 14-21-0 record, a 2.79 goals against average, and a .911 save percentage in 35 games with Berno during the recent 2021 season, the former fifth round pick may not have led his team to a winning record despite some pretty strong individual numbers, but he certainly caught the attention of a few teams across the pond. This interest would soon turn into Vemelka earning the opportunity of a lifetime, as he signed a one-year entry-level contract with the NHL's Arizona Coyotes on May 5th, 2021. Not bad for a guy who won just 14 of the 35 games he played the season prior, eh folks? Since then, Vemelka has joined the Coyotes organization, impressed the team's coaching staff during training camp, and earned a spot on Arizona's opening night roster for the 21-22 NHL season. Serving as the team's backup netminder behind fellow Coyotes newcomer Carter Hutton, the 25-year-old has already gotten his first taste of the show. Having made his first NHL start in Arizona's second game of the season, and with an 0-1-1 record, a 2.82 goals against average, and a .908 save percentage in his first three games at the time of this recording, Vemelka's numbers aren't exactly Vesna worthy just yet, but he has played pretty well considering he is suiting up for a Coyotes team that's more likely to contend for the first overall pick than the Stanley Cup. Though he hasn't picked up his first NHL win just yet, if Vemelka can provide a steady presence between the pipes and keep producing decent numbers for his team over the next few weeks, I wouldn't be surprised to see him stick around in Arizona for the foreseeable future. Will this happen though? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Next up at number four, we have Justin Danforth. The only player on this list that has yet to make his debut in the show, Justin Danforth's recent play in Europe should earn him a game or two in the NHL soon enough. An undrafted player during each of his years of eligibility, Danforth would instead spend the next decade of his career embarking on quite the road trip around the sport. After playing two more years in the Ontario Junior Hockey League with the Coburg Cougars, the American forward would spend four years in the NCAA with Sacred Hearts University, 
turned pro for the 16-17 season, and split the following two years between the AHL and the ECHL, before taking his talents across the pond to Europe for the 18-19 season. From there, Danforth would play two years in the Finnish Liga, and score 112 points in 115 games with Luko, before moving to Russia for the following year, and signing a one-year contract with KHL side Vityaz Podolsk. Now that's a lot of air miles, eh folks? After finishing the recent 2021 season as the 6th highest scorer in the KHL, thanks to potting 23 goals and 55 points in 58 regular season games, Dan Forth would finally earn his first real opportunity with an NHL organisation, as he signed a one-year, two-way contract with the Columbus Blue Jackets on May 3rd, 2021. Now of course, this entry comes with a bit of an asterisk, as Dan Forth has yet to suit up in his first NHL game at the time of this recording. In fact, the veteran forward started the year in the minors, with Columbus's AHL affiliate the Cleveland Monsters, where he registered an assist and posted a minus four in his first and only game of the season so far. That said, Danforth was called up to Columbus's roster less than a week after his Monsters debut, and has since spent his time sat in the press box as a healthy scratch. Given that he has been so close to being inserted into the lineup, and given his strong play in Europe in recent seasons, I fully expect that Danforth will get the nod at some point in the near future, and finally suit up in his NHL debut. I mean, Columbus aren't exactly a cup contender this year, and they've already picked up a few injuries so far this season. Surely they can slot him in at some point, right? Halfway through this list now, at number 3, we have Gregory Hoffman. One of the oldest players in this video, Gregory Hoffman's NHL debut has been a long time coming, but boy has it been worth the wait. A fourth round pick in the 2011 draft by the Carolina Hurricanes, Hoffman would never suit up in the Hurricanes organization or anywhere else in North America in the years following his selection. Instead, the Swiss-born forward would continue his pro career back home, as he spent the last 10 seasons in the Swiss National League, split between four different teams, and scored 312 points in 443 regular season games for his efforts. In the midst of this decade-long tenure, Hoffman would also earn a number of awards, as he was named to the National League's All-Star Team twice, the league's Swiss All-Star Team twice, and also lifted a pair of championships, one with HC Davos in 2015, and the other with EV Zug earlier this year. After scoring 18 goals and 41 points in just 36 games during the recent 2021 season, and after leading Zug to a championship thanks to his 14 points in 13 playoff games, Hoffman would not only secure his first contract overseas, he would join an NHL organisation, as he signed a one-year deal with the Columbus Blue Jackets on June 14th, 2021. Over the last few weeks, Hoffman has made the move across the pond for the first time in his career, joined Columbus's roster for the very first time, and made the team out of training camp for the current season of play. Though he has yet to score his first goal in the show, having registered an assist in his first four games with the Blue Jackets, the 28-year-old forward could certainly be doing a lot worse for himself on a Columbus team taking their first steps into a rebuild. Though he won't earn any votes for the Calder Trophy this year, since he is too old to be eligible, whether he finds a way to stick around in the league for the foreseeable future, or he ends up being a one-season wonder before going back home to Switzerland, Hoffman's journey to the NHL is one that should be commended, regardless of how well he plays or how productive he ends up being. I guess sometimes, hard work really does pay off, eh folks? Penultimately, at number two, we have Vladimir Takchev. One of the higher profile players to join the NHL from Europe this season, Vladimir Takchev has quickly proven that he was well worth the hype. An undrafted player in each of his years of eligibility, Takchev was left unselected despite an excellent tenure in the QMJHL and on the international stage due to his lack of size and questions about his 200-foot play at the time. After his final year of eligibility passed him by following the 14-15 season, the Russian forward would return home and spend the next six seasons predominantly in the KHL split between three different teams, where he scored 185 points in 252 games for his efforts. During this span, Takchev would also get his hands on several awards and accolades, as he won the 2017 Alexei Sharapanov Award as the KHL's Rookie of the Year, and earned a pair of trips to the KHL All-Star Game too. 
Not bad for an undrafted player, eh, folks? After spending the recent 2021 season with the KHL's SKA St. Petersburg, and after scoring 38 points in 45 regular season games, with a further 8 points in 11 playoff games, the Russian forward would finally earn his first shot in the show, as he signed a one-year contract with the Los Angeles Kings on May 29, 2021. Since then, Takchev has returned to North America for the first time in six years, joined LA's roster, and earned a place on their opening night roster for the 21-22 NHL season. Despite having never played a pro hockey game outside of Russia, the undrafted forward has made quite the first impression with his new team. Though he has yet to score his first NHL goal, with two assists in his first three games of the year at the time of this recording, the 26-year-old forward has wasted little time making an impact for a rebuilding Kings team in desperate need of scoring and veteran leadership from its older members of the roster. Since his tenure in California has gotten off to such a strong start, I think it's fair to say that Takchev has lived up to expectations, don't you? I mean, the guy has scored almost a point per game pace during his first two weeks of NHL action ever. What more could you ask of him, guys? And finally, at number one, we have Jonathan Darlin. The youngest entry in this video, Jonathan Darlin takes the top spot on this list thanks to producing a very strong start to his NHL career. A second round pick in the 2016 draft by the Ottawa Senators, Darlin spent the following five seasons of his career predominantly in his native Sweden, where he suited up exclusively with Timra IK of the Hockey Allsvenskan. That said, he did play 59 AHL games with the Utica Comets and the San Jose Barracuda during this span and scored 35 points in the process, but his performance back home is what really got everyone's attention. In parts of four seasons with Timra, Darlin would quickly become one of the best players in the league year in, year out, as he scored a whopping 236 points in just 194 Allsvenskan games. Not only that, he was also named Forward of the Year three times, the league's MVP three times, and was even named Playoff MVP during the most recent season, thanks to his 22 points in 15 postseason games. And that's not even mentioning the many other accolades that he achieved during this span. So yeah, the guy had a pretty successful tenure back home. After scoring 25 goals and 71 points in just 45 regular season games during the recent 2021 season, and after captaining Timra to both a playoff championship and promotion to the Swedish Hockey League, the 23-year-old has finally gotten his first taste of the best league in the world, as he earned a place on San Jose's opening night roster out of training camp and has suited up in his NHL debut. Not only has he finally earned a place in the show after many years of trying, the former second round pick has hit the ground running, as he has already scored two goals and is a plus two in his first three NHL games. Not bad for a guy who took half a decade after his selection to play in his first NHL game, eh folks? Given his high scoring track record in Sweden, and given his strong start to the season so far, I wouldn't be surprised to see Darlin in the conversation for the Calder Trophy if he keeps up this play for the rest of the year. Sure, it may have taken him a while to reach the NHL, but since he shows no signs of slowing down anytime soon, he's certainly been worth the wait, right guys? And that was a look at five European veterans who are making their NHL debut this season. What do you guys think about my list? Are you surprised to see that some of these entries played in Europe for so long before making it to the NHL, or did I leave someone completely obvious out? Let me know in the comments below, I would love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye! A big thank you to Drew Fawcett, Houston NG, and Worthless Pieces for helping support this video via Patreon. If you too want to help support the channel a little bit further, and get a shout out at the end of every future video, make sure you head over to patreon.com slash oddmanrush and become a patron today.